Hi there. Here we're told that Mary threw a ball onto level ground from a height of two meters. Each time that ball hit the ground, it bounced back up to three quarters of the height of the previous bounce, as shown. And we're given a table which shows on the first bounce, which is zero bounces, it's two meters. So on the first bounce, it'll be three quarters of two. So you just multiply two by three quarters, or two by 0 0.75 and we get 3 over 2 and we're told we want to put it in as a fraction so it says here complete the table below to show the maximum height in fraction form reached by the ball on each of the first four bounces okay so the height on the second bounce will be 3 quarters of 3 over 2 so we just multiply 3 over 2 by 3 over 4 so you can do that in your calculator that's 9 over 8 and then we take 9 over 8 and multiply it by 3 over 4. I'll just do one out here by hand to show you what I'm doing on the calculator. You can see nothing cancels here, so you just ha would have to do it out. Um, 9 by 3 is 27, and 8 by 4 is 32. That's what the calculator is going to tell you as well. And then we take 27 over 32, and we multiply it by 3 over 4. So 3 27s is 81. And... 432s is 128. Now find in meters the total vertical distance up and down the ball had traveled when it hit the ground for the fifth time. Okay, so let's look at our diagram and see when it hit the ground for the fifth time. Uh, there's the hitting the ground for the first, second, third, fourth, so that's the third time. And there's the fifth time. Okay, so what it's doing is it's going down two meters, first of all, and then it's going up and down three over two, up and down nine over eight, up and down twenty seven over thirty two, and up and down eighty one over one two eight. So the distance is two plus twice the other four distances. So we can just punch all that into the calculator and we get 653 over 64 and again we were asked to give our answer in fraction form so you wouldn't round that to a decimal. Okay, and the last question. If the ball were to continue to bounce indefinitely find in meters the total vertical distance it would travel. Okay, so what's happening then is the total vertical distance it would travel, it would start by going the two meters and then it goes uh, twice all the other ones. So it's 3 over 2 plus 9 over 8 plus 27 over 32 plus and so on forever and ever and ever and ever. ever. It'll never really stop because it never goes to zero. It always goes to three quarters of the previous height. So what we have here is a series. Now it's a geometric series because it has a common ratio. Each term is multiplied by three quarters to get the next term. So that means that the common ratio R is 3 over 4. Of course you can always find the common ratio by taking a term and dividing it by the term before. And if you took 9 over 8 say and divided it by 3 over 2 that would be 9 over 8 multiplied by 2 over 3 which would be 3 over 4. So that's how you find the common ratio in a geometric series. You divide a term by the, by the term before and the first term is 3 over 2. I'm just looking at the bit in the bracket as my geometric series. Okay, so let's just label this here. Geometric series and the sum of a geometric series the sum to infinity is a formula that's given in your tables so if you look up the section on sequences and series which is page 22 and you see the sum to infinity now that only works when the modulus of the given common ratio r is less than one and here we have that three quarters is less than one 
So we're quite entitled to use this sum of a infinite series formula. And the formula is a over 1 minus r. So we just input in here a, and we get 3 over 2, divided by 1 minus r would be 1 over 4. You take 3 quarters from 1, you get 1 over 4. So that is 3 over 2 divided by 1 over 4, which is 3 over 2 multiplied by 4 over 1, which is 12 over 2, which is 6. Now don't forget, that's just the bit inside the brackets. So the ball travels a total distance of 2 plus 2 times what's in the brackets, which is 6. Uh, so it goes 14, and we should put in some units here, uh, and that is uh, meters. In fact, I should have put in meters up above here as well. So that was meters as well, the total vertical distance. And if I just scroll up a little bit more, um, I don't need to put in meters because it's labeled uh, here that the unit is meters. But it is a good idea to put in your units whenever you can. OK, so there's my answer. So that's all for this video. Hope that it helped. Bye for now.